going to show you how to remove and replace a hard drive and the HP Elite Book 840G3. Okay, you need to remove all the screws out of the bottom. Be one here, here, here. There's little rubber things on top. You want to pull those out too. Really simple. One here, one here, 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 and here. Remove all those. It doesn't have to be any specific order. They're all the same size screw. And once you get those out, you want to pry this open. Just start popping it up. Keep trying. Ah, I missed one. Happens to all of us. You pop that off of there. Hard drive's here. You gotta remove this battery to get it out good. So there's two screws in this battery. One right here. And one right here. I'm not even gonna pull them out all the way. I'm going to leave them in the battery. Pry that battery up. Set it aside. Now we need to take this hard drive out. There's one, two, three, four. Now, if you look. Hi. Hi, buddy. I'm making a video, so be quiet. If you look, there's a little tab right here. Pull it back. One. Now, on this hard drive, there's four screws here. You just want to loosen them. You just want to loosen them. And then you want to slide this hard drive. You want to slide it out through the front, slide your new one in, so slide it out through here. I'll show you. You drop a screw and make sure you retrieve it. There's two there. There's two still in it. Pull that out. Take your new hard drive. Slide it right in. Put your screws back in. Lost one for a second. There it is. Oh, 
Once that's done, you want to slide it back in place. Push it in that direction. Tighten these four screws in the corners. We're going from a Uh, 256 gigabyte uh, solid state to a one terabyte solid state. You put your battery back in. Just like that. Tighten this screw. Tighten this screw. Put your bottom plate back on. Oh yeah, make sure this thing's up. This little thing right here. Hold it up. Work around the edges and squeeze it. Make sure it snaps in. You want to pop it back down good and tight. Now put all your screws back in and all your little rubber grommets. Put your operating system on there and you're good to go.